Hello. What's up, guys? It is me, Daily FB here, and uh, today uh, I got I, I just found something out, and I think it's so cool. Uh, I was messing around with like the metronome sounds. Um, you know how uh, in default you have the hi hat, the tick, the cowbell, and stuff. But uh, I, I got bored of those. I don't, in my personal preference, I don't really like those sounds, and uh, I've always wanted something new. And uh, uh, I, I heard I really like uh, the Logic sound. You know the t the click track they use. It's like a little click. Yeah, that sound right there, I don't know, to me, it's just so satisfying, like, it just, like, it, it goes well with, like, any, I don't know. So, yeah, so I found a way to change the metronome sound. Uh, you can make your own, do whatever you want. And uh, this is how you make a metronome sound. In this case, I want to make my own, so if you want, you can just get a sound wave, super fast decay, change your course pitch right there, super fast decay right there, do that, set it to, like, what, 13. There, uh, see, you can even, like, do whatever you want, EQ it or something. Bam. So yeah, so uh, let's say I want this sound as my metronym right there. Uh, so you basically would just go to Edison, just record it right there on play. Bam. I got the click sound that I want right there. Hope, be quiet, Hope, be quiet. And all you do is just go to save sample as right here. And all you gotta do is go to save sample. Hope. All right, so just go to save sample. Uh, just go to uh, program, program files. You go to image line right here. FL Studio 12 data, and then you go and then you see system, but you see how it's faded. It says no trespassing right there, no trespassing, but whatever. We're just gonna trespass. If I were you, I would uh, make a backup of these metronome sounds because you know, in case you want it back or something could happen, uh, I, I have a backup uh, already in my documents. And uh, another thing is, you're gonna want to save it as a WAV file, a WAV file, not v so uh, just just choose the one you want, metronome three. Yeah, so just close it and open it back, metronome. And the you you can't customize the names, so it has to stay like this. But whatever. See, right there, we just made our own metronome right there. It's just an it's just an easy metronome. Uh, also, if you want, if you have like a sample that you really like from Cashmere, and you want to put it as a metronome, you know, and you want to put it as a metronome, you can even do that too. It go, it works with any sound, any sound. Program files, image line there, metronome three, bam, boom, done. Now we got our metronome right here. See, look at that. Yeah, so you see, if you want, you can even just have it uh, as a kick and you know, bam, bam. Bam. See, watch, let me get another one. Right there. Bam, drop. Let me side chain this, watch. See, look, you, you basically, see, you basically just got a drop right there. Right there. See, bam, you already see, uh, you already got the Trap Nation right there. Bam, fire. One more time. Right there, see, like, F minor, let's play. Yeah, hold on, my bad, guys. Wrong note. Yeah, see, wrong note. See, look. All right, so anyways, guys, uh, you know, if you want, just get creative with the... Uh, Get a metronome sounds. Um, you don't you don't have to like use the default. Yeah. And anyways, uh, this was just like a quick tip that I found. I found this out, and I just wanted to share it with you guys. And uh, yeah. So anyways, uh, subscribe for some more great content. All right. Peace out, y'all.